What's up everybody, Moto 6 Sandy here and this is another Moto 6 Sandy Moto Vlog and today we're going to discuss uh, everything that I was talking to you about uh, YouTube and how to make money off of YouTube so without further ado sit back and relax and enjoy this in-depth discussion on how to make YouTube money let's begin Now, um, the very first thing I want to talk about is uh, if YouTube is actually cut out for you. Some people, um, how should I put this, will actually have the time to do YouTube. If you plan on doing YouTube, um, you're going to have to have a lot of time and dedication and motivation, determination, everything, all the willpower, everything that you need basically. Uh, to keep doing YouTube because YouTube can be very very demanding um, even though you are in control of your channel and what you do for your YouTube channel um, you have to constantly put out videos uh, weekly or daily however you want to do I prefer daily uh, simply because that's the only way you're gonna really make YouTube money now you're probably wondering how do you make YouTube money so Google has bought out YouTube and uh, how you get paid through YouTube is through Google AdSense and uh, Google AdSense is basically um, it's, it's like a platform it's like an advertisement platform where uh, commercials and ads will run throughout your vlogs or video or whatever content that you post on YouTube um, and you can basically get paid for it so for example um, if y'all guys are go and look at my previous uh, my previous vlog that I did with the uh, with the, the, um, the tutorial on how to clean your motorcycle chain if you look at that you'll see like certain little ads that'll pop up you know like you'll get like little ads that pop up on the screen or it'll actually cut to a um, what I like to call a commercial break and you will see like an advertisement for a movie uh, or a certain product or something like that anything like that is basically an ad or commercial for your video content that you're putting out there and you actually have the option to put what type of commercial or well, well, I wouldn't say what type of commercial but you have a, um, a advertisement placement so you can pick when and where your advertisement should pop up or you can just have uh, Google and YouTube do uh, certain suggestions on when your ads should pop up now I also want to say do not quit your day job just to do YouTube uh, like I said it is very demanding and it's very very strict to the T on what you post and uh, how you present yourself on YouTube so um, I want to talk about the the whole YouTube algorithm changing and a lot of moto vloggers are losing their um, ad revenue uh, simply because uh, YouTube is kind of being boycott right now simply because a lot of people are doing different vlogs and having different video content out there that other companies are not really willing to have their ads uh, be affiliated with so for example if there's a guy in his backyard uh, shooting some guns and he's just shooting a target and he's just you know he's just shooting guns just having a good time in his backyard uh, a company an advertisement company might say oh uh, this is considered terrorism look over your shoulder make know where cars are coming they might figure that it's you know like terrorism or some type of form of terrorism and they wouldn't want the they wouldn't want the ads to be ran in that person's in that person's vlog or in that channel's uh, video so um, that basically what happened YouTube got a couple of calls from a couple of companies 
and a lot of the companies are basically you know saying hey we're taking our ads out we don't like it and YouTube really has no choice but to adapt to all of this and their response to this right now is basically like is hey um, we're changing up the policies to YouTube uh, and you can't do certain things now in your videos so I'm about to go down the list right now and tell you guys certain things that you can post and certain things that you cannot post YouTube has strictly gone from the like certain unrestricted things to <laughs> that's a buddy I know and um, YouTube has uh, changed a lot of policies lately so um, a lot of the things that you can actually post is family friendly oriented stuff so like um, tutorials are fine reviews are fine uh, movie trailer reactions if you guys are familiar with Tyrone Magnus I watch his, his channel all the time I'm a big fan of Tyrone um, stuff like that just really a lot of like I said just family oriented stuff uh, traveling shopping halls mm, fashion makeup just a whole bunch of you know stuff like that is really how um, is really how you can get more YouTube ads and really more family uh, family friendly and uh, people friendly type of vlogs uh, that you can do or vid uh, videos that you can do uh, they do not allow um, any type of derogatory con uh, content so basically no profanity no sexual humor um, no um, no offensive topics and I, I, I just want to throw this out out there okay um, I, I, I kind of consider this absolutely stupid um, I don't understand why they uh, I don't understand why they uh, they talk about uh, offensive offensive topics because anything can be offensive you know you can talk about skin color you can talk about uh, I mean there, there's some people out there who are like muscle heads like muscle car freaks like what happens if if a person uh, talks about a certain topic that says oh muscle cars are better than tuners muscle cars are better than exotic cars you know like or something like that and the, the exotic car community gets upset about it and they find it offensive you know you, you probably won't get ads ran in your video uh, it's just certain little things like that that YouTube is doing right now that I'm kinda not really on board for so if y'all guys are wondering why I haven't done the whole trolling the hot girls type of thing uh, that's why um, I'm still planning on doing uh, some trolling hot girl stuff so don't worry um, I'm still gonna do that it's just not gonna be um, it's just not gonna be as crucial as I you know as I once was before because things just things just really aren't the aren't the same right now with with YouTube and if you guys have been noticing you know like chase on two wheel stuff yummy you know a lot of the motor vloggers they haven't had a lot of ads ran in their in their vlogs simply because of just that issue so what we're gonna have to do is and a lot of people don't realize this a lot of youtubers don't realize this they think you know we can just keep continually doing what we're doing and keep on making these these you know derogatory content and and using a whole bunch of profanity in our vlogs and really going against the the guidelines and the policies of YouTube but it's not holy shit that car was coming too fast really guy really and he's he's going nowhere so I don't even know why he's in a rush but it's just like if, if we continue to keep doing the things that we're doing now if we do not change our ways uh, as far as like vlogging uh, we're not gonna have like ads that are that would be ran in our in our in our content uh, there won't be any type of um, there won't be any type of uh, revenue growth at all for any of the motor vloggers who are really trying to make a career out of this you know so um, you really have to you really have to basically adapt to the YouTube policies and everything else and like I said everything from that list that I just said just now 
uh, basically it's it's um, it's all it's, it's, it's all very very strict so no derogatory content no profanity none of that type of stuff is is really allowed in the whole entire uh, YouTube thing we, we just can't we just can't do it um, if, if that makes any sense to you we can't do it at all it's, it's not it's not meant to be made they don't want it to be made and if we put certain stuff like that out there it's a possibility we might could get like a copyright strike or um, we might even just get regular strikes against the channel they just don't, they just don't allow it and it, it, it sucks so and y'all guys know my channel is strictly around trolling hot girls so I have to change up my content in order to um, to keep the channel growing and getting more subscribers and be able to uh, get more YouTube revenue so I can be able to support the channel and do more things for you guys. Uh, we're going to stop right here at AutoZone real quick. I got a friend that works here. He has this uh, badass, badass car. Reminds me of Kit. And he, uh, we'll stop here for just a second. Oh, the Trailblazer SS is nice. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. All right. How much horsepower power is it making right now? Do you know? Well, we estimating around about 460. About 460? Holy shit, that's pretty good. Because um, we got a little module in there. The module, when I was looking at it, it said like 530. Whoa, wow. So well, okay, right, right. You know all the little percentage laws, you'd be around about five. About five, so. 50, Makes sense. Nice. Hell yeah. And what year is this? 87. 87. Nice. Classic, too. Dirty as hell, man. Cats walk on it. Birds taking the shit on the birds. Ah, uh, that's, 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 that's just nature for you, man. That's just nature for you. But hell yeah, that's super nice. Oh, it's going to be faster. Oh, you putting a turbo on it? Sweet. And that's the light right there, guys. You got the kit light, the red light that goes through. You need to see it at nighttime. It, this thing really lights up. It's fucking badass. Oh, you about to turn on? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, lift the hood. Pop the hood, bro. Hello. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Y'all guys put some work into this. Super nice. Super nice. It's about the room to put a turbo on it. So yeah. Yeah, we need a battery to the back. That's about it, yep. We initially wanted to run a turbo from the back, but a lot of people say that won't work. Mm. Too much lag. That is true. Yeah. They say they had a lot of problems with the rear mount one, so. Gotcha. Well, hell yeah. Yeah, guys. Shout out to Matt. Um, he's a he's a he's a good friend of mine. He works at uh at uh, O'Reilly's here, and uh, he has this this awesome Pontiac, man. It, it is, I mean, it's freaking badass. It looks just like um, Kit from Knight Rider, and uh, he has the uh, he has the cool Knight Rider Kit light that goes back and forth. Like I said, it's pretty badass at night. Y'all guys really need to see it, but his, his car is freaking awesome. He takes us to the drag skip every now and then. And um, I'm going to try to see if I can get him in a couple of vlogs. And maybe even do like a review or something like that on his car one day. So, um, if you're watching, man, yeah, I'm going to try to get you in, uh, in a review one day. Maybe we can do something fun. Um, now, back to the uh, back to the, uh, the pros and cons here with the whole Google AdSense and how to make YouTube money. The cons were no profanity, no derogatory content, um, no type of sexual humor, um, nothing that's offensive. Any of these things that you post, uh, you would most likely either get a strike for or um, there would be the consequences of not having ads run in your videos. So you have to be very careful of what you post and uh, they have to be uh, family friendly oriented content um, even right now my uh, my YouTube AdSense is is not doing its best right now um, 
and that's because a lot of the vlogs that I have are you know the trolling hot girls type of situation so if you if, if you actually pay attention to uh, yummy r6's vlog he did a recent vlog recently can't exactly remember which one it was but uh, he even stated and I quote he said because my Google AdSense my YouTube revenue is going to shit right now and, and and that's true and that's for a lot of a lot of vloggers a lot of motor vloggers actually a lot of youtubers so um if you plan on doing that i, I just, like i said i just wanted to throw that out there so you guys should know exactly what you're getting yourselves into before you do it will it will it be like this forever and what is this car doing these people are crazy always be like this i think google will eventually change it um i think the companies will you know change their minds eventually because when you think about it they're going to be losing out on certain money uh s s kinda sorta they'll be losing out on money simply because they're uh a lot of the ads aren't running through our videos so eventually they're going to get to the point and they're going to say well dang you know maybe we need to you know put these ads back in you know in, in in these videos or in these vlogs so we can get more traffic and more money so who knows it might not it might not end up like this it might it might be just like this for the summer um and then you know i mean for the spring and then eventually for the summer and and spring and fall it might change up again you may never know you know the youtube algorithm is always changing so um i'm gonna run this light holy shit okay no cops around good now how google adsense work is you just simply go to google.com adsense or whatever and uh, you basically set up yourself an account now once you do this uh it automatically sets up everything for you uh with your google adsense you can put your direct deposit information in or you can just uh have the option of just getting a check in the mail but i prefer direct deposit because that's just that's just my preference um and it's a lot safer and quicker so if you set up your direct deposit, put in all your tax information, and everything like that, you'll get, you know, you basically get your your YouTube paycheck. Uh, whenever you make your a hundred dollar threshold, so you have to make a hundred dollar threshold. And YouTube also, let me mention this: YouTube has also changed the uh, the threshold. You have to have at least ten thousand lifetime views on your channel in order to have ads that run through your videos and that is a veloster just like i had no that's uh yeah that is a veloster but it's a it's not a turbo it's the base model you have to uh you have to set up your google adsense account and after you go through all of that uh everything will be set up uh do your direct deposit your tax information all that other good stuff that's in there and um you have to have at least a hundred dollars once you reach a hundred dollars they'll be able to issue a check to you you will also get a pin or something in the mail from google actually from the google company uh it'll, it'll be like it's almost like a little postcard it'll say google and it flips up actually and you have like a little pin that's on the inside you're going to take that pin and, and and it's going to verify everything that's in your in your google adsense so you can be able to get paid for uh your revenue that you're making on youtube so once you do that everything is set and good to go for you and you can just you know just do your vlogs do your videos daily weekly however you want to do uh, however much time you have to spare and you just do them from there and you should be just fine but um but yeah guys uh youtube has changed the algorithm has changed uh some people say it's for the best some people say it's for the worst uh i'm kind of on the the other side uh for the worst i really think it's, it's for the worst uh, simply because it's not it's a lot of it's a lot of change and a lot of policy changes and guideline changes and I mean I'm used to change I can adapt pretty well but it's it's I just think it's gonna be bad for YouTube uh, about YouTube is uh, have y'all guys tried out the new YouTube dark theme YouTube has like this cool um, this cool dark theme that they have now I guess they they're pushing out certain uh, certain beta certain beta programs for it uh, for certain users on YouTube but um, you can actually cheat around this and put in a certain code if you go to your you um, your Google and YouTube settings and you can get it early if you want to and you just cut me off and um, there's like this uh, 
just like this cool type of uh, YouTube dark or YouTube black or whatever that they call it and uh, everything is, is just black on YouTube it's pretty it's pretty freaking neat how they had to have it so I guess they're straying away from the uh, the uh, red white and blue like YouTube type of thing and I guess they're going with this uh, black and red I think it's pretty cool hopefully it'll roll over to the uh, the apps as well because I would love to see it in the apps I think that'd be pretty cool yeah guys that's that's how you basically make money uh, on YouTube uh, like I said I just wanted to do like a just a small in-depth uh, discussion on exactly how you make money on YouTube and you have to monetize your videos you have to make sure you have the right tags uh, for example if I'm doing like a uh, tutorial on how to clean your motorcycle chain you want to make sure you put the right tags that are relevant to what you're doing so if it's a motorcycle chain put in you know motorcycle chain if it's a uh, uh, how to wax or clean your motorcycle chain put that in the tags uh, sometimes you can put uh, certain keywords uh, that will be easy to help other viewers find your find your content so like I said you just have to be really um, just have to be it's, it's, it's sometimes tedious but it's also common sense if you just think about it you can easily uh, you can easily put the right information in and, and get a lot of views on your on your vlogs now I also want to say it's not just because of the ads okay um, that's why a lot of other youtubers aren't really stressing it um, you don't really you don't really get paid just because of your ads uh, you get paid because of your views, you get paid with uh, your interactions with your uh, community, your fan base. You get paid on all of that type of stuff. There's many different ways you can get paid on YouTube. So don't think it's just because, oh, it's, it's the ads. Don't just depend on the ads. It's not just about the ads. It's also about watch time, um, your uh, subscriber count, just a whole bunch of stuff like that plays its benefits and factors. So don't just take the... Uh, don't just take the, the ads for you know for granted and just say, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all the ads. It's all about the ads. It's not about the ads, guys. It really isn't. So um, that's why you see a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers still doing what they're doing, especially the, uh, the trolling hot girls and the pickup lines and all that stuff. Because you got to think about it. All that stuff is really, whee! all that stuff is really sexual humor. Uh, when you put when you think about it, it's comedy, but it's also sexual humor as well. And the stuff that I do is, you know, comedy and sexual humor. So, um, yeah, you just have to, you just really have to, uh, you just got to know how to market yourself and just pace yourself throughout throughout the process. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the little information that I gave you, and hopefully, you will use this knowledge to help you out with your YouTube channel. Uh, make sure y'all guys come on out to the uh, my Moto 6 meetup. It's going to be on Sunday, this Sunday, um, May 21st, in Columbia, South Carolina, at Second and Charles Bookstore. And um, we had about 25 bikes last time, so I'm expecting at least 30 to 40 bikes. Y'all guys might surprise me with 50 this time. Uh, that's the that's my actual goal. Hopefully 50. Um, if more comes, that's even great. But uh, it's going to be on Sunday, May 21st, at Second and Charles Bookstore on Harbison Boulevard in Columbia, South Carolina, at 1 o'clock p.m. So uh, make sure y'all guys be there. I put a uh, I put like a little description or whatever the information is somewhere up here on the screen, so y'all guys can see it. And, um, yeah, hopefully y'all guys will be there. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, make sure you, uh, click on that subscribe button that's down in the bottom of the, uh, of the page down there in the, uh, descriptions. Click on that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. Or you can just click on the subscribe button that's right in the right-hand corner. That'll take you straight to my page where you can subscribe to my channel if you like. And, uh, thumbs up this video, if you will. I would really appreciate it. And um, I guys can go like my official Facebook page where all of my motor vlogs are constantly posted on there. I post a lot of my events and updates and everything on my Facebook. It is my primary social media. Y'all guys can go follow me on Instagram where I post all of my thumbnails. And uh, I do a lot of live streams and stuff on there as well. And uh, a lot of my updates, is, you know, as well as well on uh, 
on my Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all guys know I use my Instagram a lot. And I have a Twitter, so y'all guys can go follow me on Twitter, where everything on my YouTube channel is linked right to my Twitter. So anytime I post, it simultaneously posts right along with it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, anything coming late on that social media site. Everything is just like right there. I don't really use my Twitter as much. I don't really know really what's the what's the point of Twitter, but I have it. So if you guys are interested in it, go check it out. Um, don't forget to visit my website. It's down in the description. Just click on the link. It tells you a little bit about myself and uh, what I do for a living. And uh, I appreciate that as well. Also, last thing I want to talk about is my Patreon, guys. If you guys go on Patreon and donate to my channel, I will highly appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to do a wreck car rebuild. I have a 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo that I plan on rebuilding. And uh, I want to do this uh, sometime soon because I really want to see how y'all guys will react to the uh, to the different motor vlogs in the car, in the Veloster instead of on the bike. So we're gonna do some things with that as well. And uh, we're probably gonna go to the drag strip and I'm probably going to turn my Veloster into like a race car or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can raise enough money by doing that. So if you guys can go on Patreon and uh, donate to the channel, I will highly appreciate it. And I'm also in the process of doing uh, t-shirts and uh, keychains and a whole bunch of merch. So whoever donates to my Patreon account and donates to the channel, uh, y'all guys will have uh, t-shirts and keychains and a whole bunch of stuff coming y'all guys way I'll get y'all guys information and send it to you and um, one last announcement is I am also doing a P.O. box soon so I will be having fan mail soon so I know y'all guys are probably gonna be excited about that um, y'all guys will be able to send me fan mail I can't wait to do that uh, I might do fan mail Mondays or something like that or fan mail Friday or something and I think it's gonna be great it's gonna be fun and uh, we're gonna have a good time with the uh, with the fan mails. I can't wait to see what y'all guys send me. Uh, once I get the PO box set up, uh, just make sure I, I'll put it in, uh, in the descriptions, and y'all guys can send me fan mails, letters, whatever it is y'all guys want to send me, uh, send it to me. Just don't send me a bomb, for God's sake, please don't. Oh my, what do we have here? Oh, it's a little FC09 Yamaha. That is nice, and it's naked. I like naked. Let's go, uh, let's go check this thing out. Oh yeah, he has a little ram mount on there. Yes, yeah, got a little M4. Brand new tire, look at that tire, guys. All that tread, hell yeah. Badass bike. And that's bike indeed.